Let me introduce a brief outline on the history of Bukovina and Chernivtsi. Bukovina is a territory between the Middle Nista River and the main range of the Capacian Mountains around the source of the Prut River and the Upper Red River, the border area between Ukraine and Romania. Today, northern Bukovina is Chernivtsi region of Ukraine and southern Bukovina is Romanian territory. The name of this territory is derived from its great beech forests, Buk in Ukrainian, and dates back to the 14th century when it designated the lands on the Moldavian-Polish border. Bukovina is a transitional land between Ukraine and Romania. From a historical perspective, it is a strategically important border. A few words about geography and economy. The southwestern half of Bukovina consists of the Capetian Mountains. Adjacent to the Capetians lie the Bukovinian Capetian foothills. Then comes the part of the upland located between the Prut River and the Nista River. The climate of Bukovina is temperate continental modified by the elevation. About 40% of the area is forest, up to 20% is pasture, and over 30% is cultivated land. The agricultural farms produce corn, rye, wheat, oats, potatoes, seed grasses, and various fruit and vegetables. The crystalline band contains such useful minerals as iron ore, manganese ore, lead, silver, and copper ores. The Capetian foothills contain salt and cement mouths. The main industry is woodcrafts, which produces significant exports, followed by the food industry, tanning and shoemaking, rubber making and knitting. The railway and highway networks are well developed. Going to the Capetians is always a good idea, regardless of the season. Still, in winter, this is the best thing you can think of for the weekend. Snow-capped mountains are not only a pleasure to contemplate, but also an opportunity to do outdoor activities. Sliding down the slopes on skis, snowboards, snow tubes or sleds. Your vacation in Ukraine will be complete and full of impressions if you travel to the Capetian mountains in winter. Every lover of the winter holidays have probably heard of Bukovel. It's the best and most popular ski resort in the Capetian Mountains. Due to its geographical location and natural resources, Bukovina was a constant attraction for foreigners. Tatars, Poles, Austrian, Hungarians, Russians, Jews, Germans, etc. Contemporary German publicist George Heisen compares old Austrian Chernivtsi to a ship of delight, with Ukrainian team, German officers, and Jewish passengers aboard. A ship holding permanent course between West and East under the Austrian banner. You can barely think of something more bizarre for the Central Eastern Europe of the first half of the 20th century than a company of a Ukrainian, a German and a Jew in a ship under the sail of tolerance. But this was a reality of cohabitation in the old Chernivtsi and Bukovina. Today, population includes Ukrainians, Russians, Romanians, Moldavians, Jews and Poles. A lot of students who study at Bukovinian State Medical University represent different parts of the world and contribute to the cultural and everyday life of the city. According to the latest census, the Ukrainians represent about 75% of the population of Chernivtsi region. The census also identified a fall in the Romanian and Moldovan populations uh, up to 12 and 7 percent respectively. Russians are the next largest ethnic group, while Poles, Belarusians and uh, Jews comprise the rest. The languages of the population closely reflect the ethnic composition, 
with over 90% within each of the major ethnic groups declaring their national language as the mother tongue, Ukrainian, Romanian, Russian, respectively. A few words about the history of the region. In early times, as early as the 4th century, Bukovina was inhabited by East Slavic tribes. In the 10th century, Bukovina became a part of the Kievan Rus state. When this state was divided at the end of the 11th century, Bukovina was eventually incorporated into Principality of Galicia Volinia. The church in Bukovina was administered by Kiev Metropoly until the beginning of the 14th century. Later, Bukovina experienced numerous invasions, including Tatars, Hungarians, Poles, and Moldavians. The last ruling, which was Moldavian ruling, was very weak and unfavorable. Since Moldova was a weak state, it recognized the nominal supremacy of Poland and then Turkey. At the end of the Moldavian period, Mukovina was sparsely populated and was economically and culturally backward. This is a photo of the copy of the first document witnessing the Chernivtsi as a settlement. It dates to 1808, when it was a town in Moldavia and the chief center of the area known as Bukovina. Chernivtsi was and still is the capital of northern Bukovina. In 1774, taking advantage of the Russian-Turkish War, Austria annexed the part of northern Bukovina. The Austrian government brought in a series of reforms, and in general the Austrian period was rather favorable for the development of the region. By the beginning of the 19th century, the population of Bukovina was three times that of 1775. German was the official language in Bukovina, although Romanian and Ukrainian could be used in transactions with the government. During the First World War, Bukovina was a war zone again and therefore suffered great losses. On the 11th of November 1918, the Romanian army occupied Chernivtsi and all Bukovina in spite of resistance from the Ukrainians. The Romanian government cancelled all the autonomous powers of Bukovina and turned it into an ordinary Romanian province. The Ukrainian educational system was dismantled. Ukrainian cultural and civic life was restricted and the Ukrainian church was persecuted. Ukrainians were particularly oppressed. In spite of government persecution, Ukrainian public organizations, educational society, the student societies and the Ukrainian theater continued their cultural activities. On the 29th of March, 1944, at the end of the Second World War, Soviet troops occupied northern Bukovina. The Soviet-Romanian border was established. The Soviet government created in Bukovina the same conditions of life as in the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic, a part of the Soviet Union. In 1992, Ukraine got its independence and Bukovina became a part of independent Ukraine. Chernivtsi is an outstanding city of Western Ukraine, political and economical center of northern Bukovina. The city is also considered one of the greatest cultural and educational centers of Ukraine. This is a picture of coat of arms. It was changed a little bit in the course of time, but the main thing which is left is an open stone gate in the center. It is a symbol of hospitality and friendship of the inhabitants of the city. Under the, the open stone gate, you can see a figure trident, 
the symbol of Ukraine. Under the gate, there are two crossed laurel branches tied with ribbons. The crown of the symbol is the stone crown. And this is the flag. The Chernivtsi flag consists of a tree, the top, and rectangular cloth. The front of each forms framed by a red tooth-like ornament, while background with an inscription in Ukrainian in the center the name of the town and the motto of the town. Under this inscription, you can see the date 1408, the date of the first written mention of the city. More than 600 years of history have created a dynamic and business-like spirit which fills the city. Chernivtsi has unforgettable architecture, exquisite art. It combines the elements of the culture of various nationalities and is famous for the warm hospitality of its inhabitants. This is the photo of the railway station, uh, the gate to the city. Chernivtsi of today is a place where the past meets the future. The major part of the historical monuments lies in the heart of the city. Everything here is close at hand. The city's old part is compact and charming. Visitors of the city stroll through beautiful parks, feel inspiring atmosphere and beauty of historical buildings, relax in the hotels, visit the performances in the drama theater considered to be one of the most beautiful in Europe. This is a central part of our city with a lovely Koblanska street, the favorite place of tourists and guests of the town with cozy cafes, bars and restaurants. Chernivtsi is one of the towns of Ukraine that can be truly considered a masterpiece of architecture. More than 600 architectural monuments in the historical part of Bukovina capital are registered in the state fund, including 17 of them of a national value. The official motto of modern Chernivtsi is by combined efforts, viribus unities in Latin. The right to use this motto was granted by Franz Joseph I, the Emperor of Austria, King of Hungary and monarch of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This motto is written on Chernivtsi flag. The city hall in the central square is one of the most distinguished buildings in Chernivtsi crowning the main square of the city. It was built in the 19th century. On Chernivtsi City Hall, two clocks are set, on the tower itself and over the central entrance. 50 meter City Hall Tower has a very deep foundation, 6 meters. November the 12th, 2004, a new tradition was introduced in the city of Chernivtsi. At exactly 12 o'clock every day, the trumpeter in the traditional Ukrainian folk costume ascends a spiral staircase to the tower and plays a favorite Bukovinian melody, Marichka. All the years of its history, different flags floated over the tower. Coats of arms on the front have changed many times. In the conference room, different languages were spoken. But the primary purpose of this building as residents of the municipal government, responsible for the livelihoods of the city, remained unchanged. Multiculture and multilingualism of Chernivtsi is known far outside Bukovina. One of the attractions of the city is Turkish Square. The main attraction of the square is the Turkish world on the right. This world gave name to the whole square and even to the bridge across the Turkish street. It was dug during the supremacy of Ottoman Turks uh, from the 16th to the 18th century. People of our land used to build wooden wells. Turks were the first to build stone wells and it is still used. One more attraction of Chernivtsi is Theater Square. Chernivtsi Ukrainian Olha Kobolanska Music and Drama Theater is located here. 
It was built at the beginning of the 20th century but two, by two famous Austrian architects. Their firm specialized in theater construction and developed more than 40 theaters all over the Europe. Therefore, this theater in Chernivtsi resembles them very much. To the right of the theater, you can see the building of Bukovinian State Medical University. From the front of the building constructed in 1912 as the Palace of Trade and Crafts, passerbys are watched by two Olympic gods, the goddess of harvest and fertility and the god of trade, merchants and travelers. Now it is the central building of Bukovinian State Medical University, location of the rector's office and dean's offices. The unique ensemble of the main building of Yuri Fikovic Chernivtsi National University is a masterpiece of Western Ukrainian architecture of the second half of the 19th century. The residence was built in 1864-1882 by famous Czech architect Joseph Glavka. Glavka designed an alternative eclectic complex. The main building served as the metropolitan residence of Orthodox Bishop of Bukovina. Today it is the place where various international conferences are held and the leaders of European countries meet. On the 28th of June 2011, the architectural ensemble of the residents of Bukovinian Metropolitans was included to the UNESCO World Heritage. One more masterpiece is the regional state administration, former Palace of Justice, constructed at the beginning of the 20th century. The building is decorated with colored ceramic bricks made specifically for this palace and ceramic insertions. The crown, the roof, is crowned with um, two statues, the Olympic goddess of justice and retaliation. Two lions guard the main entrance against false food and trickery. This is one of the most beautiful and impressive buildings in the city. One more square, the Philharmonic Square, named after Philharmonic Hall. In 1872, uh, the Music Society was established in Chernivtsi, later transformed in the Philharmonic Hall. It is now one of the favorite places for tourists and for guests of the town. You can see one of the hostels of Bukovinian State Medical University at the background. Bukovina and Chernivtsi have always been the most hospitable, tolerant and friendly area due to the historical development and national diversity. Nowadays it is the safest part of Ukraine where there are all the opportunities for work, education and creativity. Welcome to Bukovina. Welcome to Chernivtsi.